Like, love you. I walked in, I love you too. As I walked in, I seen so many people that I really wanted to see. I love my people, my family, my friends, and they over here trying to talk about coming to bank. And I'm like, hold up, all my people is right here though. And they like, they like, well, you, it's a book launch party, so you gotta, you know, you gotta come back here and have them come sign books and, and sell books and, you know, and all of that. And so I'm like, okay. But, I, you know, I just want you guys to know, because I don't like this, all of this, like, I like to, to mingle and have fun, and that's what I'm planning to do tonight. I want to celebrate the birth of my book. Yes. This is such a huge yes. accomplishment for me. Uh, and, and, yeah, I, I can't even express, and it means so much to me, guys. You have no idea. Thank you so much for your support. I mean, it took me five years to make this book, to write this book, and the devil was so hard on me. Like, it was so hard for me to do this. But I did it and it feels so good and just to come in here and to see so much love, it's just so overwhelming. And I thank every, each and one of you. And I don't even see half of my people. Like, I don't even see my, fa uh, look, like my father and Xavier. Like, yeah. I, like I see my, my, my nephew, Trey Warren, right there. I didn't see you before. Oh, I didn't see Nicole. Like, oh my God, I'm just happy that I'm still here. I have my mind, and this is this is nothing but God showing me that if you stay in faith, yes. and you put all your trust in me, anything is possible. And this is it. This is showing me right here. Y'all have no idea. I want, let's have fun. Let's drink. I mean, we got, I mean, I'm not even really a drinker, but I'm drinking tonight. I mean, if you guys, I don't know what the situation was, but you gotta get the book. I mean, please, yes, you know, but I mean, you know, you know how that is. You know, yeah. <laughs> like, don't let my life experience go in vain. I mean, I wrote it because, and I and I say this all the time in my press and everything. You know, Earl was a huge part of my life. You know, he was my everything and. You know, I'll always love them, you know? It's just that I'm not in love with them anymore. You know, we both move on and we're doing other different things. And this book is not about bashing him. Unfortunately, you know, 25 years of my life, he was a part of. So I can't tell my story without, you know, him in the, in the, in the whole mix of it. And you know, a lot of it is not gonna be sweet, you know, because of course a lot of our, my Wyo family know that, you know, he, it was a struggle. I mean, it was really a struggle, and I pray for him every night and every day, and I really hope that he gets delivered and saved, because I would never, ever, ever want to see anything happen to him. So I always have to be very upfront and straight to the press, to, to the fans, and everything like that. This is not about that. This is just a celebration of my life, you know, and me just growing into the woman that I am today, and what I've been through and how I got here. Because if it wasn't for all of that that I've been through, it, I would never have been the woman that I am today. Amen. So I'm so, I just feel so blessed. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm gonna have more of these. I should've got a bigger spot. I don't know what I was thinking about. Right. <laughs> Y'all know I'll be back for some time. <laughs> but um, love everybody and please come up. Um, this is why they have it all set up like that, um, because they don't want me to lose sight of what, you know, what, it's a book launch party, so they want me to be back here. I'm going to be going up there, but they're going to open it up and let 
Everybody come in if you want me to sign it, you want to kick it with me, you know, whatever, right? This is what you guys are saying? Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is what's going on and let's do this. Let's have fun. Entertainment. I'm here with Tashira Simmons, DMX's wife, and she just wrote a book, You Think You Know, But You Have No Idea. I wanted to ask you, how does DMX feel about this book? Um, I wouldn't say that he's too happy about it because um, he's in denial about a lot of things that, you know, is going on in his life right now. So some of the stuff that I'm, um, you know, exposing, you know, I'm sure he's not going to be, it's not too bad, but you know, it's, I mean, it's nothing that nobody knows, doesn't know already, but I don't think he's going to be too happy, but, I mean, he's not too happy, but, I mean, he has no choice. Are you still really close with him? No, we're not, we're not, it's sad to say, really sad to say we're not, um, because he needs to get himself together. He really needs to get himself together. Are there a lot of happy times in the book, though? Maybe some good experiences? A lot of happy yeah. times, yeah. Oh, no, it's definitely a lot of happy times. I really tell the story just the way it happened. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a really love story that turned went bad. 